Hello, my name is Dan Bowles, Superintendent of Schools. We want to provide students and families updated information regarding changes that we've made for the upcoming school year. This will be the mode of communication that we'll be providing for families when we have new updates. Transportation letters were sent out Friday, August 28th. Transportation hotline is 315-218-2035. They can be called between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. If your child will be learning 100% remotely or you will be providing transportation daily, please contact the hotline to let them know. Parents should always expect delays the first few days of school. Under personal protective equipment, students will be provided with three washable cloth masks at the start of the school year. We encourage students to use these masks or another similar type of mask. Students are expected to wear masks throughout the day with the exception of mask breaks. Parents are encouraged to have students wear a mask now to begin building stamina and tolerance prior to the school year. We'll be working together to ensure safety. Please take your children's temperature and monitor for symptoms before school starts each day. In accordance with New York State guidance, if you have traveled to the list of quarantine states, your child must stay home from school for 14 days after returning to New York. If your child arrives at school with a temperature of 100 degrees or greater, he or she will need to go home immediately. All students will have temps taken upon arrival at school. Students who are symptomatic in school will be sent home and will need to be tested for COVID-19 before returning to school. All of our visitors will need to have their temperatures taken and complete a screening questionnaire upon entering a school. Employees will be screened daily. Under our technology assistance, all students will have Chromebooks provided. K through four will leave their Chromebooks at school for the first few weeks and then take them home and leave them home for virtual learning days. Students in grades five through 12 will bring Chromebooks to and from school and should be charged at home. If you are having difficulty with school tool password reset, you can contact your child's school secretary for assistance. If you are having difficulty with your child's Chromebook, please call the North Syracuse Central School District helpline at 315-218. 2108. Our school meals. Our food service staff will discontinue the use of peanut butter and peanut butter products for meals delivered to classrooms. Parents should exclude peanut butter and or tree nuts for meals brought into the classroom from home if their child is a, is a peanut or tree nut free classroom. Parents are encouraged to use My School Bucks to fund student meals. Food service staff will be delivering meals uh, and have them coded to classroom rosters that display any known food allergies for any student. Our school nurses will provide teachers with a listing of students with allergies. Our meal pickups. Meals for distance learning or hybrid students will be available each day, Monday through Friday, from 4.30 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. Meals can be picked up at Gillette Road Middle School, Roxborough Road Middle School, North Syracuse Junior High School, and CNS High School. Students who qualify for free meals are eligible to pick these up at no cost. Our proactive planning. If there is a positive case in your child's classroom, parents will be notified via text or email. Anyone with close contact for 10 minutes or more with an individual who is testing positive will need to quarantine for 14 days. North Syracuse Central School District will work with the Department of Health on contact tracing and will notify parents via email and phone if a child needs to be quarantined. Parents should have a plan for child care should a child have to be quarantined. Under social emotional learning, our staff have been and will continue to be trained and supported in creating learning environments 
both remotely and in person, that foster connection and safety. Mental health staff in each building will be working closely with classroom staff to identify and support the mental health needs of students. A parent's wellness page is available on the North Syracuse Central School District website and will be updated regularly. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this presentation. We are excited about the school year and seeing all of our students again, and we are excited about the resources available this year, especially each and every individual that positively contributes to this district.